In this lesson, we're going to go over the fact that uh, Japanese and English share the same words. Okay, and many times languages don't bother to take a foreign word and translate it into their own uh, their own language. Uh, they instead just use the foreign word because it is what it is. Okay, so um, um, this is especially true between English and uh, Japanese. For example, the English word cake in Japanese is pronounced as keiki, okay? Uh, K-A-K-I, okay? It's sometimes written like this, K with this dash here, which means extend the K. Keiki, okay? And radio is pronounced as lajo in Japanese. And television is pronounced as terebi in uh Japanese. Okay, so um, they're basically the same. Let's go over an example. Say we say, I ate the cake. To translate this, one would say, Watashi wa keiki o tabemashita. Okay. Watashi means I. Keiki is the object, the direct object, and tabemashita is the verb. So let's go over some sample problems. By the way, just to show uh, how it is, uh, Japan once had a word called. Uh, Ninja, okay, and um, they taught it to English speakers who, instead of trying to translate it into English, simply used the word ninja. It is what it is. Uh, ancient group of people. Let's go over some samples. Um, Okay, I watch television and he listens to the radio. Okay, um, here's the word for miru means to watch or see, and kiku means to listen or hear. Okay, and remember we use radio as a direct object, as the object of the sentence. We don't do to the radio, we just do the radio, listens to the radio. So go ahead, translate. Okay, ready? Let's go over. Watashi wa terebi o mimas. Okay. Hey, kare wa radio o kikimas. Okay, uh, I watch television and he listens to the radio. Okay, so uh, that's it for this lesson. I'll see you next lesson.